Good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome back to a zoology presentation. This week we're looking on the parts of the bird. Most birds have the same parts, not all of them are used in the same way. So we can start with seeing that the bird, of course, is the animal that has feathers and usually flies. There's many parts that are similar to other animals we've learned about, but other the parts that are specific just to birds. So first, we have the head. Of course, we know what the head does. It houses the eyes, the ears, the nostrils, and the mouth, and the brain of most animals. So nothing new about the head, except for the beak, which we'll get into something into later. The eyes of the bird. Now, the eyes of the bird are very important, because some of the birds, some animals in the bird kingdom, have the best eyesight in all of the animals in the entire world. So the eyes of a bird are very important. They are large and round, but notice on the birds we have here, they're on the sides of the head. They're not exactly right in front. So it's a little harder for the bird to see straight in front of it. You can see to the side and sometimes even behind itself very well. But its eyes are very strong, very powerful. They can even have like a zoom effect, almost like zooming in on your camera. And birds can see from miles up in the air, especially birds like this. They can see movement, they can see color, they can see light and dark because the eyes are a big part of their hunting and survival. So birds have very, very good eyesight. And we have the nostrils. Of course, birds don't live underwater, so they breathe with their lungs. And they have nostrils, usually right on their beak. You can see here, little black dots on the nostrils on that beak. All these birds will have nostrils in different places on their beaks. But that helps them smell. They have a sense of smell they can use to help hunting, but also to breathe. If they are using their beak to eat, they can't really breathe through at the same time. Then we have the beak itself. The beak is a very important part of the bird. Different birds have different types of beaks for different jobs. If a bird have a pointed beak, it's probably for pecking or for grabbing and tearing. There are some birds that have more of a hmm, pointed beak or more of a cup-shaped cup -shaped beak. This is for scooping and eating things in the water, like fishes. We have other birds that have bills, like this. The duck has a bill-shaped beak, again, for scooping up water and eating things that are inside the water. Then, of course, you have other birds that have pointed beaks, like the hawk right here, pointed beaks. This is for tearing, because they eat meat. They eat mammals and sometimes other small birds. They tear at the meat with their sharp beak. So the type of beak the bird has will really tell you a lot about the food it eats and what kind of, um, what kind of animal it is. Is it a predator? Does it hunt? Or does it just eat you know, plants and things? The type of beak changes for different types of birds. Then we have the rest of the bird. It's a very important part. This is the muscles. The bird is a very, very strong animal. Its almost entire body is muscle. The breast is a big part of that. That's where the muscles where it has to flap its wings. If a bird has to fly, you have the very strong muscles to flap those wings so you can keep in the air. And the breast is where those muscles are. And of course you have the wings of the bird. These are very special as well. The wings are made so it can fly. It's an amazing thing. They're attached at the breast. They have very strong muscles. They have very specific and pointed feathers that allow it to glide through the air and fly. Part of those feathers are called the remiges. These are the end of the wings. Very important. They're usually pointed, they're very soft, and they're made to be aerodynamic. We see this bird here. You can see the remiges. See how the, the, the wing feathers change color at the end? These feathers on the end are very important. They help glide and help the animal fly through the air. So you can see on the wing, the longer feathers are the remiges. The smaller feathers are attached to the wing. So the feathers you usually find on the ground. If you find full feather on the ground, it's probably going to be a remiges feather right here. Next, what do we have? The tail. The tail is very important for the bird as well. The tail, just like the tail used on the amphibian, is used to help it swim straight. The tail of the bird is helped to help it fly straight. Notice in all the birds that can fly, like this one, it has very straight, almost like its remage feathers, 
on the tail as well. This helps it keep, keep its balance. It can go up and down with the tail, it helps it go up and down in the air. Notice the animals that don't fly, like this ostrich or emu. It has tail feathers as well, but they're very small because this animal doesn't fly. It doesn't need tail feathers as much. Same thing with the duck. It's got wings and it's got tail feathers on the end because the ducks can fly a little bit. Things like flamingos and stuff, it'll have feathers, it'll have um, wings and tail as well, but flamingos don't fly as much, so they're not as pronounced as, say, the hawk or other flying animals. And of course, the last thing, another thing that's very important for birds is the type of feet they have, also called talons. That's what they can grab onto. You can have grabbing feet that are like two claws. They're kind of like fingers. They don't have specific fingers like we do, but they do have about three fingers and one back. If you look on the back of this bird here, you can see it's got three claws and then one back claw. That's made for grabbing onto things, just like we can grab on. Of course, different type of feet on different birds. We have the duck feet. These are like flappers. If you've ever seen scuba gear, we get that idea from duck feet. This helps them propel through the water, so like paddles. And different birds have different types of feet. The ostrich feet aren't made for grabbing as much, they're made for running fast. So they have three toes sticking out front, so they can use that to run. So the beak and the feet of the birds, they change very much from bird to bird. And the type of beak and feet they have will tell you what kind of bird it is. Is it a swimming bird? Is it a flying bird? Is it a carnivore, a hunter bird, a predator? So different types of birds have many different parts, but every bird will have some of these parts. All right, so you can see there's not, there's not just one type of bird, there's thousands of types of birds. So you report, you can choose the type of bird you want to study. It could be a swimming bird like a duck, or a flying bird like a, an eagle or a hawk, or a running bird like a emu or ostrich. I want you to draw a picture of a bird or find a picture on, on the internet and then label or maybe highlight the different parts of that bird and then label them and then do some writing. Tell me about that part. What is its job? What does it do? All right. So I hope you enjoyed your zoology lesson about the parts of the bird. I'll see you next time.